a new year brings new projects. Hello and welcome to Warrior News. I'm Evan Stewart. Friendship Elementary breaks ground for future improvements. August 18th, Southern School District officials held a groundbreaking ceremony at Friendship Elementary School. It marked the beginning of its 18th month renovation plan. The construction will cost nearly $17 million. School officials say the renovation will improve Friendship's infrastructure to meet the standards of the rest of the school district. The, the school will gain 26,000 new square feet, including a gym and 11 new classrooms. In 1958, when Friendship was built, the price of gasoline was 25 cents a gallon. Okay. The average cost of a home was $2,390 in the United States. And I venture to say, Glen Rock and Doors Township will probably be less than that. But you know what? We still have the same roof on this building since 1958. <laughs> The project is scheduled to be completed by December of 2012. Washed away, flooding interrupts the routine of Southern students and staff. The Southern York County School District delayed sending students home on September 7th because of the most of the nearby roads were closed due to flooding. Heavy rains from remnants of Hurricane Lee caused flash flooding throughout the region. Downtown Glenrock became a river after Godoris Creek overflowed its banks. Travel home was delayed nearly two hours. Student drivers were held in the auditorium while students scheduled to ride the buses home were held in their classrooms. Students were not allowed to leave unless a parent or guardian picked them up. School was canceled the next day until the floodwaters receded. Maybe now that they know that it can get this out of hand this quickly in the future, they'll, you know, let us out of school before it gets crazy again. The makeup date for the school day canceled because of flooding will be February 17th. Tired of putting on pants to go to school? Try the online program. Seniors at Susquehanna High School can now take classes online in lieu of attending class in the building. The program started as a pilot last year in the spring. The school board approved to make it available to all qualifying seniors. Three courses are offered, including Government, English, and PSSA Math. The program is designed to give a students a more flexible schedule to allow for work or dual enrollment in college courses. The program currently has 26 students enrolled, compared to last year's 13. Whoa, oh, 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 Nation is better than ever. Warrior Nation is the student section at Susquehanna Sporting Events. The school makes a custom logo t-shirt and other apparel available for purchase. This year, Warrior Nation is offering a bus rides to selected away sporting events. Now, new this year, students can purchase a season pass. It costs $40 and gets students into all home sporting events for regular season. The biggest reason it's important for students to attend sporting events is to develop a sense of school pride, uh, that warrior pride that we talk about so often. We want our student athletes to know that their representation of our school is welcomed, that we appreciate what they're doing out there. Uh, ultimately, we want to establish a sense of community uh, through our school that not only goes through athletics, but through our music department and everything else and our academics at school. Uh, we want that community spirit to be a driving force and, and something that, that really represents what Southern York County School District is all about. This is the third year the school has organized the student body into Warrior Nation. New staff members joined the Southern family and two given a prestigious honor. The details when we return. You're watching Warrior News, so stick around. Check it out, man. What is that? It looks like someone's belly. Eh, probably lost it walking on the beach. Man, just leave it. Let's go. I present to you Algebra 2. Who among you will step up to their challenge? 
me. Yeah, I'll do it. You too. Sign me Take up. on the tough classes now. You need them to prepare for college. You'll see new faces all over the school district. Jim Hollinger is the new assistant principal at Susquehannock. Hollinger is one of five new staff members at Susquehannock. There are nearly 20 new teachers throughout the school district. Uh, it's, it was kind of a career goal of mine I, for, a, for a long time. Um, I enjoyed teaching, loved being in the classroom, but I decided at some point that I really wanted to move on and, and become an administrator because I felt like I had a wider influence. I could affect more kids, hopefully have a positive impact on more people with, in this position than I could just as a teacher. Some familiar staff members in the position include Sandy Lamont as the new assistant superintendent and Lisa Boyer as new assistant principal for Shrewsbury Elementary School. A Susquehannock teacher was rewarded for her excellence. High school math instructor Maureen Honeychuck was selected for the Outstanding Teacher Award from Shippensburg University. Also receiving the award is Lynn Clements, the librarian at Southern Elementary School. Do, the two have also been picked for the, the college's guest lecture program. They will receive their awards at a luncheon at Shippensburg in mid-October. There's a little bit of uncomfortability because I feel like I work, I'm surrounded with outstanding teachers. So it feels a little funny to be singled out, but it's an honor. And uh, who, who, who doesn't like to be recognized uh, for the work they do? This is the 13th straight year that a Southern York County School District employee has achieved this distinction. Now hiring new teachers of all kinds and former assistant superintendent is helping out for future education majors with a new scholarship. Former su su assistant superintendent Julie Samazic and her husband endowed the district with a $10,000 scholarship. Students majoring in education will be eligible to receive it. The first class to receive will be the class of 2012. The donation was originally $5,000 but increased to $10,000 initially. Initially, the $5,000 was just going to be a donation, not a fully developed scholarship. Director of Administration Services Wayne McCullough and Superintendent Thomas Hensley supplied an additional $5,000 in Samastic's name. That's all for this episode of Warrior News. For everyone here at Warrior TV, I'm Evan Stewart. Have a great day.